Hello guys and welcome it is Dude or that SLB2 Dude here today bringing you guys a new series called How to Get Better at Splatoon 3. Now in this series it's basically me teaching you guys how you can get better with specific weapons. As you can see in the title today's weapon is going to be the 96 Gal Deco. And it's pretty much going to be me talking about different weapons in the game and how you can get better with them. Thinking about this series like the In The Mind series that I did earlier before, and it's basically me just talking to you guys my thought process about, you know, going through the games. And just to let you guys also know, all the games that we will be playing will be in X Battles, so we should be getting some hard games to go against and use all these different weapons and, you know, basically learn a thing or two about them. Now, of course, we have the hand cam so you guys can see all the movements and all the inputs that I'm putting in when I'm playing the game. But additionally with this series, I've also included an eye tracker so that you guys can be able to see absolutely everything I'm looking at while I'm playing the game. So with that quick explanation about this series out there, let's get into it. We're starting with the 96 Gal Deco. Now, this weapon is very, very interesting. And right now, it's one of the stronger weapons in Sizzle Season or the current patch that we're playing in right now. Now, the 96 Gal Deco or the 96 Gal in general is a two-shot kill weapon, as you can see right there. Now, the things you got to look out for as we just go into the, the menu here is that it has pretty high range. Its damage is also really high, and its fire rate is really, really slow compared to other, well, I guess, shooter weapons in this game. You're not going to find another one that fires slower than this, other than, like, maybe the H3 Nozzle Nose. The kit that this weapon comes with is Splash Wall and Kraken, and this is reminiscent from a kit that came from Splatoon 1. It's, well, the same kit, not going to lie. However, how this kit fares inside this game, it is extremely strong. The Splash Ball is extremely helpful when you're trying to protect yourself and fire with your weapon at long ranges, just like so. The Kraken is also very, very helpful when it comes to either initiating situations or making it so that you're distracting the enemy. You can use these two different things in, you know, however you want. But I think distracting the enemy is one of the best ways you can do it. Initiation is also really good too. This, this is the kind of weapon that you can do with it because at the end of your Kraken, you can use your Splash Wolf for your own protection. You just got to be aware that there is a lag that comes with uh, the end of a Kraken. Now, one thing that really frustrates everybody when using this weapon is the great amount of RNG that you might come and have with this weapon. One thing I would really not suggest when you're using this is that you don't continue to auto fire too long. The main reason for this is because the RNG for the weapon uh, becomes even more inaccurate over time. This is something that applies to all shooter weapons in general, but you really want to make sure that you apply this with the 96 Gal Deco because as inaccurate as this weapon is, if you auto fire too long, you will miss more shots than you'd want to and it becomes very, very frustrating. So when you're using this weapon, make sure that you, you know, try and swim up, take a couple shots, go back in, in take a couple shots, go back in, in. This is only when you're trying to engage with people. If you're also firing for paint, that's completely fine. Make sure you do that. One small thing that I'll also add, which can really be helpful for you, is try to shoot a little lower at your targets when using the 96 Gal Deco or just the 96 Gal in general, because it's going to allow you to actually hit your targets just a little bit more, opposed to shooting a little too high. I'm not really too sure why this makes the 96 Gal more accurate, but it's something that I do definitely notice when I'm trying to fight dummies. As you can see, if I have the, you know, the, the cross edge just a little bit higher. If I have it lower, it almost hits almost all the time, or I guess more consistently over time. So, you know, this is something that I try to focus on when I'm actually even hitting uh, my targets with the 96 Gal Deco. So this is something that you can adopt as well. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is my gear abilities when it comes to using this weapon. Now, when it comes to the swim speed, I put at least one main and two subs of swim speed. This just allows me to have really good movement, and I find that it makes it easier to actually, like, escape more situations and, you know, back away t into targets that are challenging you if they are aggressing and coming up too close to you. Like, say if it's, like, a shorter range weapon trying to push you. I find this amount of swim speed when I'm swinging backwards and trying to shoot back at them allows me to dodge more bullets than usual. So that's why I put this on. Uh, one sub of quick super jumps always very helpful, just a standard that I, you know, just get back in the game quicker. Uh, special charge, one main, one sub, and two subs of special power-up. 
Special charge, of course, get your Krakens quicker because this weapon is, uh, I believe it's 210 for special points. So you're definitely going to need some special charges to make sure that you even get the Kraken in the first place. Uh, the most interesting thing about, at least for my 96 scale that I like to run, is running Object Shredder. Why I put Object Shredder on my 96 scale, it's mainly to be able to fight crab tanks behind my wall and be able to shred them quicker. And, you know, usually I get enough time, especially if they aren't looking at me, to actually go ahead and shred them. And also, really, really helpfully, it's that when I'm facing opposing 96 scale decos, uh, because 96 scale decos, I'm not gonna like, quite popular. Like, it's becoming even more and more popular as seasonal season comes through. Um, so being able to fight them with their own walls uh, on a one-on-one -on -one situation is very, very helpful. And and I also find a lot of them run uh, stealth jump just as a standard uh, because there's like almost no reason not to wear stealth jump. But when I have the object shredder, it kind of throws them off and it's just like, okay, when I try to fight this 96 gal, it's not as easy. Because the thing is, is that if I throw a wall and they throw a wall at the same time, I'm going to be able to take it on their wall much quicker than they take down my wall. So... In, in some cases, I usually win that fight with my splash wall still standing strong. And, uh, you know, it's just a really nice thing to have. And, of course, it breaks off a lot of different other objects really quickly, too. So, this is why I run Object Shredder. And, of course, the two last things. The Intensify Action, one sub of it, just to help with the squib roll and make Jump Arrow Energy just a little bit better. And the Resistance, two subs, is just enough for me. That makes it so that I resist ink enough. Either way, that's the gear build. Like I said before, we are going to be doing this in X Battles so we can find some really skilled opponents. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Right, so here we are going into our first game, and like I said, I want to do this series a lot like how I did the In The Mind series. So I'm going to be basically talking about everything that's going in my mind when I'm playing this game. And uh, I'm going to also be trying to show you guys how I play the 96 Cal Deco and all that type of stuff, so... Uh, just to check the comps out, the longest range weapon on their comp is their Nautilus, and... Back in Splatoon 2, I'd say the Nautilus was like a big enemy against the regular 96 Cal. Uh, so it's something that I'm going to watch out for. They also do have, of course, a splash o medic, which is uh, something that I'm also going to have to look out for too. But um, right now, it's just kind of a stalemate situation. Everyone's just kind of build their specials. I can't challenge that. <laughs> so that guy just kind of waved for me and baited me in, but that's fine. Uh, but that's kind of just how the stalemate situations go. I think probably what I could have done there, uh, I was nowhere near to Kraken. So I probably should have just went ahead and built my Kraken because, uh, you know, nothing was happening. And I'm, it was more of a thing of they were they'll just waiting for me to go in. I took one hit on that guy, so I just backed up and let my teammate uh, went ahead and finish off. We can finish this guy off too. The Nautis is going to back up along with his teammate. And considering, of course, it is Raymaker, there is a Raymaker in play. Um, unfortunately, I think... Oh, they're all stealth jump, actually. Okay, no uh, object shredder on any of those teams. Let me throw the wall down. I don't have a lot of ink to actually work with here, so I'm not going to actually like try to fight with that wall. I do have a Kraken, so now I can actually probably help use it to initiate. Really cool thing, especially, uh, really a cool thing to learn is that when you're going against, like, an Ultra Stamp or something, Kraken basically always wins that, so that's why I try to use it whenever I, uh, do you see one coming towards me. I believe that person who was on the right is probably moved below right, or they've moved into a different position. I'm kind of worried about checking this right, so I'm... I'm just kind of this. I'm just gonna wait here because like I don't know exactly know where everyone is at. Uh, my teammates are down again, and we're in a little bit more of a stalemate. At right, this time, considering this team is not really moving, I think what I'm gonna do, like literally, like I'm just gonna build Kraken and push, just so that we can get something going because like we're, we are taking our time here. I did hear the Ultra Stamp. There we go, and we're gonna push up here. Use the Kraken just for a little bit of defense. A little bit of scare tactics there, too. I'm gonna push a little bit ahead here, too. I gotta back up there. Okay. Oh, it's just Nautilus. All right. Like I said, the Nautilus is the only real long-range weapon that's gonna be really challenging me. So it's the only thing I could have to really walk, uh, watch out for. Uh, but all the other weapons, I just have to keep decent distance and we win, basically. So there we go. Um... I'm gonna try and pay for it. I don't think we'll get this, but I'll try and pay for him. We do get it to one. And I do have Kraken ready. I'm actually gonna crack in there just to further aggress them. One of them's hurt. My teammate might be able to pick that up. Never mind. 
We're gonna have to back off from that situation. Nautilus goes ahead and waits me up. Waits me out. So, it is what it is. My, okay. No, the, the enemy team actually pick it up. Okay, cool, cool. Right. Well, we can't complain with that. You know, I mean, I think pushing to one makes anybody really happy. Like, all we have to really do is just like play for defense. Um, on getting the not letting not letting the other team get for get to the checkpoint basically. So, um. This is kind of a nice thing for Raymaker. It just allows us to play really far back if we need to. And, uh, you know, we don't have to really worry about points because the other team has to worry about uh, getting an actual knockout. You know, that's that's basically what they're playing for now. And we don't have to play for that anymore. We just have to, like, hold, play the TDM. And basically every pick just makes it so that uh, the enemy team has to stall out even more. So, um, right now, I spot the sploosh and the splash over there. I'm literally going to take, like, we literally can take our time now. We, we don't have to, like, do anything super crazy. I'm just literally going to shock this guy out. There we go. I might have to crack in here. Mainly because I'm in a really strange spot. That person pushed towards me. And we're looking for the sploosh. I think the sploosh... Okay, now the sploosh was on our side. Cool. Right. Literally, we do not need to push. 45 seconds left on the clock. Um, so it's just a matter of just, like, holding down this area. And we don't really need to do much anything. Well, much of anything right now, so... Um, it's just about just defending a Raymaker. We don't need to push, and uh, we just play the game like this. I'm actually just going to build my Kraken just to assure the victory, because... Um, let's just say everybody... We, we, let's just say my teammates overextend or something, and, you know, they all die, and then we constantly get destroyed or something on the team trying to make an enemy push. I have that Kraken just to, you know... If I get to the Raymaker, just to, you know, give myself another opportunity to... Know, save the game but wasn't needed because somehow my team actually just pushed up and just knocked that out anyway so I'm totally fine with that I'm that's a, a solid game to start off and win um, this is actually the first game of my placements and when actually recording this video so uh, we're gonna actually be able to see where I get placed I think I got like if I'm not mistaken I got like four four wins and one loss uh, during my placement so um, you know it's decent. <laughs> I'll take it. It's decent. I don't know where it's going to put me, but we'll have to see in terms of Raymaker. 3230, so that is it within top 500 in the in its early season, so top 500 is pretty easy to get. But yeah, either way, uh, we'll continue and uh, we'll play some more games. All right, here we are going into our next game. And uh, let's take a look at the compositions that we're going to get. So we have a, oh my, two Splatling compositions. So there's going to be Splatlings on the other team. They have a heavy, regular heavy... Nautilus, Junior, okay, so their main slayer is their Octobrush, I'll be out for that. So, their main slayer is an Octobrush, I feel like in this situation, I'm gonna have to play more main slayish, and then my mini splatling is gonna play pain, o we have an Octobrush that can also slay too, so I'll play more up front while my heavy plays more back, while they also got Kraken too. Two players on the left, I believe one on the right, actually no, 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 one on that platform, because my heavy is like... I, unless they just don't know that there's someone on the right, which I don't think there is anymore. Um, but that's fine. We've got two marks. I'm not going to push just yet. It's too obvious. I want to build up to my Kraken just to assure that it's safe. That person actually jumped out. Oh, wait. Did we lose control on the right? We did lose control on the right. Okay. I'm trying to play this slow. We take them out easily. There we go. Perfect. Now, in this situation, two, the entire team is down. I'm going to try and take control here. Give my team to, like... I want my team to, like, uh... Basically pick the Raymaker up, but, like... I just want to stall the, these guys out. Now, I also chased the Octobrush, too. Uh, just so that my my teammates don't get killed by that guy, but... Um... You know, it is what it is. Um... I think I'm gonna try and just hide left. No, he saw that! Oh, that's unfortunate. The Octobrush got, got eyes on him. <laughs> the Octobrush got really some really good eyes on him because he saw like a little sliver of uh, ink there. So that's how they were able to get that. I'm going to toss the wall there make him think I was trying to do that or trying to drop down in that situation. Although I'm not. We've taken out two. We're looking for Nautilus and Rainmaker guy. I'm really just looking for the Nautilus. I'm paying a little line of ink there just so that the, it makes it a little awkward to actually like come towards the Raymaker, at least for the Raymaker, or at least for the, the carrier. Nice little hit there. And one thing you probably notice again with my 96, or how at least I play it, I tried to play it within, like, in positions where I get the most out of my range. 
This is something that you probably notice I do with every single weapon in the game because it allows me to actually really get the most out of the weapon and, you know, it also keeps me safe most of the time. This is, uh, this is just, you know, some general things that you want to do. Okay, we found the Octobrush. It was the last guy that I was trying to look for, but... Seems like he did not find me as I was going around him. That point sensor definitely found me, though. There we go. I'm gonna crack in here. They might get checkpoint here, which is, you know, it is what it is there. I'm gonna not gonna try I'm not gonna try and um pursue the octobrush. I feel like I probably would die from that. And um what's that called? I'm just gonna try okay no. I should have done that. I should have just like I should have uh helped paint mid a little bit more. Considering that heavy spike room was there. And uh they had pretty good uh, like good main coverage there. This ink cloud is very, very annoying. Because that just slowed me down. I couldn't stand, like, in, like, normal mid there. Okay. It's just a junior here? Oh, the RNG is being terrible there. Unlucky. Maybe my teammate can take it out. It's just the Octobrush. Well, not the Octobrush. The, the Heavy Spatling. Okay. I think this is still very much possible. It's just a matter of, like, getting control of mid, getting control of left. If we can take a couple out before we actually, like, start our main push, then it's going to be really easy for us. Now look, watch out for this junior. Okay, Junior now down. There's a Nautilus over there too. Cool, we've taken out two, and we've... Okay, we're looking for the Heavy Splatling. Heavy Splatling's on top left there, perfect. I'm actually gonna crack in early, move this Heavy Splatling out the way. That but down below, I actually hit, <laughs> got a hit on them. It seems like they were waiting for me to... They might have been waiting for me to actually try and do that, but that's, a that's actually honestly fine. Um, okay, we gotta be, we, mm, we gotta be vigilant here. They do have a cloud and they've used it early. Might be able to take the Nautilus out now. I need to try, we just need to find a way to break in towards, uh, break, break towards, uh, their platform here. And they're playing a really defensive game, which is, you know, fair play on their part. I'm also just, like, using my wall just to, like, not get myself killed here. Oh god, they're really closing us in here too, so I'm really trying to survive, do my best to survive here. Octobrush is now taken down. It's probably the Octobrush that's being a little bit of a problem uh, on our side. I'm the last one up. Uh, as much as I want to push in... Oh, yeah, this the heavy is in mid. As much as I wanted to push in there, I definitely couldn't. I definitely couldn't do that. Um, because, uh, what's that called? If I pushed in, I would have been leaving the Rainmaker down, and my teammates who was trying to jump in wouldn't be able to do much there. Um, but it's okay. Person dead. We don't have a lot of time. We do have to get this pops, and my people are dead, so I, I mean, on this situation, I just gotta pick it up. All right. They could literally come in from anywhere at this point. Uh, I gotta, I can't retreat to. Okay, I, I the most I can stand is this block but i still we gotta make some moves so and it's really hard as well because like at the same time as much as i want to push up there's only 30 seconds left and like at the same time we don't have like really skirmishy weapons other than the octobrush there so it's really hard to actually make a good initiation there like i think what i probably could have done better was uh like once we got control I should have just go ahead and crack it and just get on their plat, just to like get them distracted to look somewhere else. But at the same time, I need my Octobrush to basically capitalize on me distracting them if, on that case too. So, you know, it's an unfortunate game, but you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. And uh, other than that, it is what it is, and we go into the next game. All right, so here we are once again, guys, going into our next game. Let's check out the comps here. We have Zap, Painbrush, and Range Blaster, if, I be if I'm not mistaken. They got Forge, 96 Gal, uh, Splatana Wiper, and a S Blaster. So, this is going to be really interesting. Someone's already taken control of the full right side. And they haven't taken much control of their left. Um, there's two people, there are two people in their side mid. The Blaster, oh, I'm on the other side of my wall, no! Okay. If my person stops that, that's huge. Alright, that's very, very huge. Thank you very much on the end zap. Um, they may or may not get the checkpoint here. Actually, no, we might have time to actually stop this. Eh, I think I got the hit. Okay. They got the checkpoint. 
Um, I'm gonna try and paint up mid while they're just kind of faffing around the Raymaker. It's gonna allow us to like get a little bit more control here, but that's fine. Nice Excals on far right. We might be able to single that guy out. Oh, there's two here. I'm gonna crack in here for my own protection here. And the last two guys are right mid. I can't reach this guy. Oh, okay, take him out, perfect. All right, I'm gonna try to take some control on the plat. Try and be quick with this. Shred that guy's wall. There you go, that's the object shredder in a nutshell. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I may actually, well, if we get the checkpoint here, that's huge. No checkpoint, dang it. Okay. That wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. But we, we've, we've actually got control of mid still. Um, I'm gonna throw a wall there, just block him off, and take control on the right side. Oh, they tried. They, tr they, they really tried that. Blaster there. Nice. Everyone push. Okay. I'm pushing up straight away. That's two up already, so I only have to worry about two guys here. I want to try and get my Kraken. Oh, I didn't have time. I didn't have time. I should have tried to get my Kraken first before I pushed up, but that's okay. We actually got the checkpoint here, so that's huge. Um, there's people pushing towards right. I'm going to try to take towards right, or... Try and watch right before they try that. Oh. Goodbye, sir. Here's another one. That's good. T that's two good kills. Nice. All right. Cool. Uh, we can. T I can take this opportunity to jump them. Perfect. Take this opportunity to jump. Try and get that plat. I'm also gonna try and get Kraken this time. Oh, we got. Oh, that's huge. That's really huge. All right. Easy leads. I can't build my Kraken up just yet. Okay, I got it now. Okay. Popping it. There's the last two guys up here. Okay, one down. One still up. Wool. We're pushing. I think there's one behind us, the wiper. I have low ink on this one, but we got to 27 points, which is huge. I don't think he knows I'm here. Yeah, what a way to flop that. He does have Kraken now. Makes the situation a little awkward, so I'm just gonna die for Raymaker, just to stall him out. I might actually live this, actually. Ah, oh, it's, it's a good try, though. <laughs> she boxed the guy in. So annoying for him. <laughs> he knows it. He knows it himself. <laughs> just like, oh man, you really boxed me in, dude. Okay. Ooh, he missed it. Alright. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna paint up for my Kraken once again. Um... We've taken out two. I'm just gonna hold this red side. I have Kraken for like ultimate defense. My teammates can actually take up, uh, take control of the, the left side or take decent control of the left side. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but okay. This is why I got Kraken just for that. Oh, I almost picked him off. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. The 96 is right here, so that's perfectly fine. The Raymaker pops him, so he's now dead. There are only two up. And we can go ahead, we should try, we, I mean, we definitely should be faster on taking control of the left side since we already have two up. We have man advantage. We're letting them just get mid here, which is like, you know, not what we want. That blaster right there is weak, or I think was blaster. 96 is dead now. Up top, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead here. Yeah, okay. It's just the zap versus the blaster here. The blaster's probably gonna get jumps from, or blast, blaster's probably gonna get jumps to the other team. Not good, all right. Well, 30 seconds left. The good thing is, is that we have pushed to 27. 27 on a map like this is definitely decent. Um, but we really need to get control of mid. <laughs> Not control of mid, but like, uh, control of the flat. No, my dudes. We had to get control of our flat there, man. Okay, well, we had so much, we, we just had to hold the plat. We really just had to hold the plat when we've been fine. Well, I gotta pick this up now. You take them out. I might die to the blaster. Okay, no, we're good now. Okay, they're very fully aware of this. I forget that the f there's a Forge Pro in this game, actually, by the way. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta do the Rainmaker carriers of, of a century. You can probably break him, dude. The guy over there. Okay, nice. Please kill that blaster for me. Thank you. I gotta chill, I gotta chill. Oh my god. Help, 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 help! Oh my lord, guys. I couldn't run ahead because that's that wiper was right there. 
I could have just ran our head, but I would have instantly died. So we needed to make sure those, those guys were taken out. But we definitely could have done that. We just... Like, the moment when we really needed it. Okay, there was one situation where I died to the blaster. That was bad. But, like, we still had so much time, so much time to work with uh, controlling our platform. And we did not do that correctly. Which is really... I mean, it's just a thrown loss at that point. You know, it was like, like it's, a, it's a situation of just, like, what can you really do? Like... You could be right there to win the game, but you throw it away by not defending. So it's just like, you know, I wanted to make it happen, but we just, we just didn't. But either way, we move on to the next one. It is what it is. And we go into the next one. Okay, so hopefully this game goes a lot better. We, like, we're doing well. We're, don't get me wrong, we're doing really well. We just need everyone to defend the, we just need some defense. <laughs> That's all we really need. Either way, um... We have more pain on our side compared to the other team. I think we shred before them too. Uh, we just gotta be careful of the blaster trying to take, like, control and all that, so. That is a custom jump squelcher. There's only two up, so the last two are on that plat. I'm just gonna hold this. Try not get killed by this custom jet. Right, that killed me. Right up through my wall. It'd be like that though. Okay, well, the good thing is, right now, we got control. That's the, that's the huge thing. We got the checkpoint first, and uh, we're able to push through. I'm actually going to take the rail. Might live. I'm backing up. Blast is on the, on the tap. Okay, fair enough. Probably shouldn't have tried to push that. That was an attempt, but, you know. If that T-Tech had pushed me, like, grinding into my wall, then that would have been great. It was the situation I was looking for, but they didn't go for it. But that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna chill here. We got three marks, so that's perfect. You can see exactly where people are, so I can actually like take some position. There's one on their plan with the Raymaker's the other one. The custom jet is not likely to go ahead and push up. It's just the type of weapon there is. So, knowing that, I'm gonna take advantage of this. Okay. Wall it out. Kraken. There's two up top. They're all backed up. Perfect. Alright. So that general initiation just scared the enemy team to go back. There's one guy behind us we have to worry about. Perfect. And now there's everyone up front. In front of us. It's the perfect weapon that I wanted to get down first. Oh. Oh. No, dude. He put a mine right there, so I was just trying to... I was going to attempt to try and take him out, but the RNG was not there with me there. Unfortunate. Sometimes when you... Sometimes you do get away with situations like that. Like, the walls just, like, allows you to... Or gives you enough time to actually, like, pop someone like that. But it is what it is. All right. They're going to take a lot of control here. You take the, the blaster out. They might get the... They might get checked here. Oh, he falls off the map. Okay. Can't stop him. That's fine. Um, yeah, I had an assumption that the blaster would jump in straight away. The Eli is in, like, the w most worst spot. We have lost all our players. Alright, I have got to stall as long as possible. I've got to stall mainly just because everyone died on my team. <laughs> that is basically the reason. So, if I can kill this Eli, that'll be huge. Oh, he still got me. It was really rough there, but it's fine. I think I did just enough to stall so my teammates can go back in, and the Elia jumps out. Perfect. And we killed the blaster once again. Perfect again. That's two minutes. I'm still not confident with the push that we've got so far. I mean, I feel like as long as we take out the Tentatech and the blaster, we will be fine. But it's a matter of doing that. That's the thing. So the blaster dead. That's a big slowdown to them. Because realistically... The custom, the, the custom jet culture and the uh, Eel Eater aren't going to do anything. The Eel Eater is going to go for picks. That's one thing. Um, but the custom jet culture really is not going to do anything. Oh, I'm so sorry, my friend. <laughs> well, if you get more points, that's, that's great. I'm going to try and use my Kraken Initiate. Okay. We gotta get rid of that blaster. Okay, you know what? I'm backing up straight away. Oh, custom jet culture's going aggro. 
Oh, what was that? Was that two people? Yeah, it was the two people there. Okay. Well, good kill. The custom Jessica is just dead. That's not, I mean, he's dead, but it doesn't really do much, to be honest. We're looking for Blaster. We can take this Blaster out, we're fine. Oh, well, we gotta play defense, dude. My wall just got eaten. That's like, uh, very, very scary. Oh, cool. Good snipe by my leader. We killed that Tantanek, we're good. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna push this. I'm pushing this custom Jet Scorcher just so they don't get more jumps. We don't even need to push any further. Please stop pushing. No, 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 no. Come back, my friend. Come back. Come back. Come back. I'll check the right just in case. Yep. I'm so glad they listened to my this way. These eyes. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's two backlines. They aren't gonna get this. Unless we get sniped. <laughs> well, we're good. Cool. Alright. Huh. They listened to my this way. <laughs> they, the, my teammate listened to my this way and it allowed us to actually win the game. You know, that doesn't happen so often sometimes. Like, sometimes it's just like... Like... If I can teach you guys anything, it's just one thing in Raymaker is just never push the Raymaker. If you're already winning, if you're already winning, and it's like 30 seconds on the clock and you picked up the Raymaker, don't stop pushing it up and give it to, giving it to the other team. Never do that because a lot of the time it actually gets the big, huge compact from the other team and it's just like you lose the game. And it's just like, man, if we didn't do that, we would have just won. So, yeah. Don't ever do that. Right. Here we go. We're on to the next game. We gotta make sure we win this one. All right? We have a C I'm the longest range weapon on our comp. Uh, they actually lack a little bit of paint just because of their blaster. But you have Nova, so they got the aggression of Inkjet, which can be... I think on this map is actually pretty decent. I think the mines too are gonna be really decent for them. We can definitely pop this. There we go, perfect. I'm just off popping it too. We get a good clear out. Actually, I'm just gonna... Okay, I, I was gonna pick it up until that happens, but... I'll be play this aggressively. Nice. Perfect. There we go. I got the hit there. We got a lot of uh, ground here. Try and take this blaster out. He's so weak. Sosh is weak too. Perfect. Come with my Kraken. I'm calling for it this way. Perfect. All right. Cool. Brilliant game. <laughs> Brilliant game. Perfect. All right. The thing about that game is that... We took it. We took advantage straight away when we took out. We took down two, and we spotted exactly where everybody was. So like everyone on the team just knew. Right, we taken everyone out. Get onto their platform straight away. Go because you know it, it, you just want to get there. You, you want to get control of their platform as quick as possible. You want to take as much space as possible while the enemy team are down. So that's exactly what we did. We won the game straight away. Easy. Something that's been really interesting is that I've noticed there's only one map in this game. <laughs> well, we've played, we played Hagglefish Market as well. But we haven't had a lot of opportunity to play the other map. Now, we're in this situation where now we have a little less pain compared to the other team. But are we going to get the pop? Not too sure, but we'll try and get do our best for it. We actually took out one, which is great, but I'm going to still just dedicate myself to this pop. Perfect, we've taken out two. There's one last one's left. I'm gonna take the Rainmaker. Yep. Ah, oh, I had a feeling. I, I just wanted to do that just to weed him out. Just to weed him out st straight away. I didn't know exactly where he was at, but... Weed him out straight away just to get him out. It's perfectly fine with me. Yo, the Rainmaker almost killed me. Perfect. Oh, that guy dies. Perfect. Last one's tries, Joshua. There we go. Perfect. I'm pushing ahead still. Wall this guy out. Oh, I don't have ink for it. Perfect. Pain. Oh, almost. I got another kill. If mm, the tri is on top, on watching me on top left here, using Fizzy Bomb. I can't pop that. And I don't think any of my teammates are also watching for this guy on the top left either. Which makes this really awkward. I can crack in it. I could crack in there. <laughs> if it didn't die, if I, if I didn't die out of my crate, it would have been fine. But it's okay. A push to six is. Very, very huge. It means now we can actually, like, let's just say if they start pushing, uh, we can actually defend on our spawn. I don't know how I died there from a splash, but that's fine. 
We got a lot to... We got, still got a lot to work with here. Um, but we don't want to throw this away. Come on now, we don't want to throw this away. I toss my wool here. Okay, we're really just like throwing ourselves in there. Oh, good fall off. Alright. I was waiting for it, and it eventually came through. I'm being slow with this because I just want to make sure that we notice that everyone is... Perfect, thank you, teammate. Good pick up. Um, very... Do have beacons down, so this is, uh... Where the splash, not the splash, the Spatana Wiper Deco comes in. It's the kind of weapon that plays more back than up front compared to the other Spatana Wiper. Um, I do spot him here. I'm actually gonna try and... Try and take him out. We're cracking. I just lost him. Okay. Okay. Take the beacon out. Three guys now on right. I mean left. I swear guys, I know my left and rights. Try and slip this guy. Cool. All good. Oh. Nice. Alright, cool. We still got so much to work with here. Spatano Wiper Deck is still on the right. Did I hit on the left? Oh no, he's on the left now, man. He swam faster. Someone just jumped to the right. I spot that just ever so slightly. Oh. Come on, RNG. There we go. Perfect. 64. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Oh, the last guy's right here. Oh. Pop. Nice. Alright. Well, everyone's off spawn. They literally jumped to the beacons here. Okay, good good damage there. No more there is one beacon right. I think someone jumped there too. I'm gonna go I'm gonna try and take this beacon out. There we go. Alright, just make sure it's gone. I I mean we got so much time to work with too. And I got the time to work with like uh, getting those beacons down, so. So like I said in the first game, since we've already pushed so hard already, like I mean <sighs> We got lots of time to work with, of course, but like, since we've already pushed so hard already, um... We can kind of be- we can kind of be- uh, we can play a little bit more slowly. We can play a little bit more slowly since we push it to six. It's like, six is basically almost game winning, so... We can play slowly, we can wait for them to come to us instead of we, like, trying to prejudge them. And, you know, we might get into situations like that and pro possibly win the game. Nice! There we go! Nice! We pulled out the reverse sweep during that at this episode, guys. So, um, you know, all good games all around. This is basically how I play the 96 Gal Deco. Um, and I hope you learned a thing or two of it. And I'm, I am, I hope to bring this series, uh, this specific series to come out a lot more often than, uh, your average series that you might, or average video you might see coming out from me. So, um... Yeah, good games all around. We had some really good ones. That's how, that's the nice scout deco. Let me know in the comment section below of what weapon you should want me to uh, go ahead and look at next, or a weapon that you want me to, you know, teach you guys and all that type of stuff, and things that I would do with it if I'm trying to use it. So, uh, with that one being said, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button, destroy it completely. And subscribe to the channel for more information and educational and Splatoon 3 stuff because I really do love this game. And, you know, go ahead and play some x rattles if you haven't already and just, you know, help your scene, populate a little bit. So, yeah, guys, that's all I got from me. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I shall see you guys in a future video.